another another specific aspect yeah. of Unido, which is which is uh, Andrew. We have all this log frame, the logical framework, yeah. the evaluation system, what good you're going to do, your outcomes, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, everybody is evaluated on one thing. Which is? How much money you spent. Ooh. It's called the PAD syndrome. Tell us what the PAD syndrome is. PAD, I don't even remember what PAD stood for. Project something document. I, you know, it doesn't matter. The PAD syndrome is this. You get a project. You, your project is, is approved. You have a budget. And you have an implementation plan that says you're going to do this, this, and this in the course of the year. And you're going to spend this much money. And the, all the projects together, you have the program. So you have a plan of how much you're going to implement in the course of the year. At the beginning of the year, we all talk about all the good things we're going to do, all the SDGs we're going to address, and all the outcomes we're going to work for. We come to the end of the year. Did you spend all your budget or not? It's not where you able to achieve your yeah, outputs yeah. That's with, secondary or with tertiary. fewer incomes. You yeah. know, did, did, were you more efficient than you? No, no. That, that, uh, did you spend all the money that was given to you? Because if you didn't, we're not going to give you that much next year. Yeah, yeah. You, did, you, you, you failed. You failed. You failed. Even if you did the greatest job since yes, the beginning of, exactly, of time. Exactly. Um, I, I think I once shared this story with you. There's a, there's a, a very prominent global organization that I had the privilege of, of doing some work with. And I had this discussion with them. They, 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 the headquarters is on a prominent lake in Switzerland. I'll say no more. And I had, uh, not with a board member, but with a senior manager, I had this discussion. The senior manager was telling me, you know what, um, we have an evaluation pro uh, process, uh, and they use the term cost of capital, which means the, organ the, the main organization functions as a bank to all the subsidiaries worldwide. So if uh, the German subsidiary wants money for projects, they have to apply for it, and there's an application process, just like if you're going to a bank, and headquarters is the bank. Uh, and I asked them, I said, well, do you, do, you, um, do you evaluate how much money was spent? I said, absolutely. So you're penalized as a project manager if you exceed budget, if you don't have a, good, uh, a valid justification, if you don't have change requests that are validated and stuff like that, or some kind of legitimate excuse. Uh, but what I thought was totally interesting is they also punished their project managers for underspending. Mm -hmm. And I said, what did you just say? He goes, yeah, we, we penalize our project managers for underspending. I said, are you nuts? Because what's the consequence if you get penalized for underspending? You throw it away. You, you take the money and you burn it in the oven. Okay. You get close and to the end. Now, yeah. just to be fair, because you know, I, I empathize with senior managers who have to evaluate. He explained it to me from their perspective. He said, listen, uh, he gave me a number. I forget what it was a huge number. Something like it's 100 million euros annually that this organization, and they're responsible to their shareholders at the end of the year, what their spending was. They said, we have about 100 million that's, that's designated for projects, but is either not used or underused. Mm -hmm. And we're liable because they expect interest on that. It's, it's, it's opportunity cost. And I said, I understand, but quite honestly, that 100 million is actually should be on the profit side. Yeah. Because if, if you have that kind of punitive system where I'm going to punish you for, for overperforming, uh, being with, more efficient, yeah, being more efficient because you came up with a shortcut. The consequence is that people are going to burn money. What would you rather have? A hundred million that you didn't spend? Okay. Or a hundred million that somebody throws out the window just so they don't get penalized? Uh, this is a huge, huge topic that I think uh, still requires a whole bunch of, of awareness on a, on a corporate and a, on an NGO basis.